I know mom appreciates it. And uh, I have a little story I'd like to share with you all. And you can't call it a young story, it's an old story. <laughs> Matter of fact, it happened uh, back in long well, about 1957, 58. And I was probably about seven years old. And uh, I remember mom and dad <coughs> taking off and going to Muncie to the Sears store. And uh, of course, being that age, I had to go along too. So, but what they were looking for was a sound system, a stereo, and a TV. Their first one, as a matter of fact. And I remember the stairs where you go from the first floor up to the second floor, there was a landing there. And that's where that stereo was sitting. Well, right away, they decided that's what we're going to get. The real problem began was they got 10 free records when they got that system. And uh, so they took time going through the records and uh, mom picked out one that from an artist that many of you probably know is Red Foley. He was popular with some country and Western songs back in uh, the 50s and 60s. But there was one particular record album that mom picked out that she wanted. It was by Red Foley and it was called My Keepsake Album. And for many years, I really didn't know why she wanted that album so much until uh, I turned on the back side of the, of the jacket and there was a cut on that album it was called The Mother Watch. And I read that and it's like Red Foley knew my mom and wrote it on her behalf. And I want to share that all with you today. It went like she never closed her eyes at night until we were all in bed. On party nights till we came home, she often said and read. We little thought about it then when we were young and gay as to how much mother really worried when we children were away. We knew she never slept while we were out at night and that she waited up just to know that we'd come home all right. At times we'd stay out till one or two or three and it seemed to us that mother heard the turning of the key. For always, when we stepped inside, she called and we would reply. But we were all too young back then to understand really just why. She always kept light until the last one had returned to rest. She seemed to fear the world might harm the one she loved the very best. Once she said, when you've grown to become men, Perhaps I will sleep the whole night through. I may be different then. And so it seemed that night or day, we knew of real mother's care. For always, when we got back home, we'd find her waiting there. Then came the night we were all called around her bed. All the children are with you now, the kindly doctor said. And in her eyes there gleamed again the old time tender light that told us that she'd been waiting up just to know that we'd come home all right. She smiled the old familiar smile, then prayed to God to keep us safe from harm, <clears throat> from harm throughout the years. And then she went to sleep. That's my mom. Everybody knew her that way. I know Jerry did. She was a one sweet lady, and I'm going to miss her. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Good job. Good remembrance.